In this video, we're going to look at the data that we can add to a profile view so that it delivers the most information possible to the viewer. First, we're going to add profile labels to this view. We're going to select the profile, right click, and select Edit Labels. Just like with our horizontal alignment, we're going to import a label set. This label set contains line labels, grade breaks, crest curve, and sag curve labels. I also want to add in some horizontal geometry point labels. So I'm going to select those labels and add them. When they do, we get to pick the geometry points that we want to label. I'm going to leave everything selected. And with that, we're going to pick OK. And now we can see that our profile is completely labeled. Now, we have some information that's just not going to look great when it's plotted. Some things are, are overlapping. So what I'm going to do is go in and clean up these labels. I'm going to put them into a drag state so that we don't have so much uh, text and graphical confusion and overlapping. As you can see, these stations are overlapping, so I'm going to drag that curve label down underneath the profile. And I'll drag that down a little further. This is outside my profile view, so I'll drag it inside. and just basically make everything look a little bit neater. If I take a look, I'm showing that I'm seeing double stations there. So let's add some profile view band data. I'm going to select my profile view properties and uh, I'll see that we have some band data here. We have our, our two profiles that are being shown. There's the band data. And we can also show profile hatching. I'm going to use this and simply show the cut area along our profile. I'll select the upper boundary of the composite surface and the lower boundary is going to be my uh, my design profile and you can see that we have a nice hatching that shows up now that displays where our cut areas are. Back under bands I'm going to delete the existing band and take a look and that did get rid of my double stations. And I'm going to go back in and add more bands. You can see that we have different band types, profile data, vertical geometry, horizontal geometry, sectional data, uh, even pipe data that we can show if we had pipes in here. So I'm going to bring in a band set that I've created. You'll see that we have a lot of data that's showing up now. Uh, we have cut and fill values along our profile, uh, vertical and horizontal geometry values. Uh, so I have the length of my tangents, my curve data uh, for both my horizontal and my vertical alignments. Now this data that we're looking at, the cut and fill data, uh, it's set just like we created the hatching earlier. You'll see under bands we have Profile 1 and Profile 2. This is where you're going to select uh, the profile that you want to use for your comparison. And Profile 1 and Profile 2, uh, those are dictated by how the particular bands is set up, how the math is applied. We're going to uh, select Label the End Station here. And now we have a nice looking profile.